Anyone else here overemployed? This is when you work from home and double or even triple your income by working multiple jobs at once all within the normal workday. I've been doing it for over a year, it's not too difficult once you get into a routine. Anyone else here doing it? How long? Any tips slash difficulties? For me the biggest annoyance is try hard coworkers who want cameras on in meetings. Good luck Annans. One job is bad enough. Bless trips. Been moonlighting since the very first lockdown in March 2020. Yes, I'm in the Army Reserves and have been for the last two years. I get very low-cost healthcare and pull in an extra paycheck by only working one weekend a month. I can also tell my boss to frig off every once in a while on Fridays because I have to go serve my country aka sit around and BS in the motor pool all day, not bad. Been doing it for one and a half years. Had a period where I got three jobs and pulled around 200k for six months. I live in a third world country and work for American companies so the work from home will never end unless they want to pay me like an American. Meetings are a bitch and actually had health issues when I had three jobs but I will be able to retire in my country at 30 so it's very worth it. As for tips, get a headset, you'll have to attend multiple meetings at the same time so you don't want unintended noise in a meeting. Always volunteer to crappy demanding jobs not relating to many meetings that way it'll appear you're making a ton of work. Be real friendly to your boss, if you manage to have a friendship with him or her you're all set. I even managed to convince my first boss to let me have two jobs at the same time. What was it like having three jobs? I've been debating adding a third for a bit but I've heard that the jump from two to three jobs is a lot more difficult than one to two. I agree on volunteering for tedious boring jobs. Anything that doesn't involve me talking to people is good. I did this for about six months last year, kept my full-time dev job and picked up another contract gig. I doubled my income. Was amazing to me how much I could get away with at the contract job. I put in maybe 5 hours a week and nobody ever said anything about my productivity. I eventually quit though because deadlines were coming up on the project and I didn't do squat and didn't want to have to talk about it with anyone, just ghosted them. Sounds miserable, yep, there's something very liberating about not giving a heck because you aren't depending on one job. Nice, one of my jobs is a contract too. I still bill for full days even though I'm not doing actual work for 8 hours. My thinking is, if I'm online I'm doing my job. How many times did they try to contact you before they gave up? My boss was kinda weird about work. He didn't seem to care at all how long something took me, but if my team's icon ever went idle he'd be pinging me like hey, how's it going? When do you think you'll finish X? So I kept the mouse toggled, did the bare minimum and slid by for half a year. My primary job is lead dev on an understaffed product though so it was always more demanding. If I had an easier primary job I think I could do 2-3 to three jobs for longer, but it is stressful to pull off. So the day I ghosted the guy was calling me and texting within the first hour. I didn't answer and 15 minutes later the staffing agency that placed me called. Keck. I just told her I was done, blocked the other dude's number and never heard from him again. Makes sense. I'm in a similar position at one of mine. Very understaffed but the higher ups always want everything done right now. I've just stopped worrying about it and will say stuff like yeah we'll add it to our list but this probably isn't getting done anytime soon. If it were my only job I'd probably worry more about keeping them happy but since it's not I don't feel like I have to take their nonsense. It's a nice confidence boost. Sounds based Annans. I'm a sales cuck so I pretty much work all day. There are lulls and I can technically take as long as a break as I want as long as I acquire clients. Recently my friend invited me to join his startup to take charge of new business. It took me 8 cold calls and I got a client, 5k for their website and $1,500 per month for their SEO. I don't think I could do a third gig because I'm required to grind at both. Feels bad and I don't have a technical skill but seems like non-sales gigs have their downsides too, deadlines, workloads, meetings, bosses. I don't really have to deal with any of that. You can get away with multiple dev jobs but I think the most comfy would be DevOps. Those guys probably don't do more than a few minutes of work a day but nobody else knows how the heck to do it and if they weren't around the whole company would implode. You could probably juggle half a dozen DevOps jobs. I wasn't able to keep up and had to miss meetings. Very stressful. So I would recommend you get someone who could look after you. You won't have time to cook or clean or do anything but work and stress issues will come up eventually but if you go into it knowing that it'll suck that helps a little and even if you fail you'll have a couple thousand dollars more. I'm going to take a stab at it too sales bro. Got a gig where I'm already at over 100% quota for the year, onboarding to a new company next month. Sales means of over 100 you can do whatever the heck you want anyway, gonna milk too as long as I can. Godspeed and on. How do you manage your LinkedIn account with job experiences? I just hibernated, so far nobody has said anything. 
If I were to deactivate it it would just appear like I always had one job and doesn't mention anything about my second. I heard that's a bad thing when it comes to IRS season. It can be but you just need to adjust your W-4 to withhold extra. But yeah I would expect to probably owe some or at least not have a refund when you do your taxes. But having an extra year's salary makes up for it. Based. Delete this thread now. Normie HR roasties have been instructed to look out for signs of people working two jobs. You dummies are ruining it for the rest of us. Overemployed, time thief, quiet quitting. Oh laudy de corporate masa he show likes ta make up some silly sound in words don't he. Ezekiel sing me dat old tune bout dat freedom dem eggheads say we should all has. Data related skills, got experience as data scientist, engineer and SQL slash Python and cloud stuff. LinkedIn works for me and more often than not the recruiters reach out to me. I've been in a lot of interviews even if I don't intend to get the job so that I always have an idea what the desired skills are and to get really good interviews which I believe I am. Okay however I keep wondering how do you manage your LinkedIn profile? Isn't anyone surprised in your second mission that your profile mentions you are currently somewhere else? No one's asked I have no profile pic and haven't updated it for two years. Should someone ask it currently points to a job I haven't worked at since the pandemic began so I'll just say it hasn't been updated. How the heck wouldn't your employer find out you're doing this? In the UK they would see. From your tax code I think. In the US they can't see your taxes, just the IRS can. Not sure what other info they might have access to but as long as you don't give them a reason to look you should be fine. Two jobs, I work 7 days a week, 76 hours.